good morning everybody happy sunday i thought i would bring you guys along today um and yeah share my day with you guys uh, my sister dad and nephews are on their way up they have about a three hour drive seth and ian um, are getting ready to go to casey's to get gas in the gas cans to mow. Seth wants to get in one more mow before it gets too cold. And then some sodas and some ice and bring along. Right now, I'm getting ready to do some semi-homemade apple pastries and possibly some Rice Krispie Treats if we get to it. So let's go. And I thought I would go ahead and show you they have cut the cornfield behind our house and they're actually out there. There's another farmer that's got land behind this cornfield that's cutting his corn it's a whole there's a whole road back there and everything that divides the properties but he's back there cutting as well all right <laughs> they tried to make apple pie something i don't know i have this puff pastry very easy simple instructions egg wash apple pie filling and apple pie spice. And I'm going to try to make some Halloween Rice Krispie treats. Ian's meal that's been out for a few days that I just found. I don't know if it's any good. But yes, we are onward much. Alright, these are done. Some of them really exploded. I hope they're cooked, actually. Um, but I forgot. I was going to slit the top. I forgot. I you know but i think we might cut into this guy oh, yeah okay this is actually my first time ever using puff pastry i don't know how people do it homemade like it is beyond me so we're gonna cut into that guy do a taste test also we did our little halloween rice crispy treats and we used the sprinkles so i'm gonna let this set up for a little while we are going to cut this in half i'm quite nervous oh my god it's so good yeah i'm pretty sure it's done oh my god i don't know why i'm so shocked oh wait is it done is it done? I don't know. Oh well, let's try it. Mm. That is so good. And I think it's done. I think it's just how the puff pastry is. Oh, so hot. Really quickly, I'm going to get my nephew's Halloween treat bags together. They're about an hour away. He actually texts me. Probably a little less than an hour. She just texts me that they were close. The boys are home. Ian's picking up Logan's nursery because he likes to get out his baby toys and play with Logan and not pick things up. So, um, I pulled some things out of the class bucket that I got for Ian's class treat bags. So each of the boys are going to get a fruit by the foot, a little ball thing, a little spider ring, a sucker, a couple of these sour punch things, and some ghoul mix M&Ms. I did get different things for the boys' or for Ian's class, but we don't have enough to go around for the boys. And here are the treat bags I got this year with little metallic ties. I think they're really cute. Um, but I should say, don't worry about it, but I want to go ahead and do these for them. We opened up about the curtains. It is like 51 degrees. So it's like, I can't believe how cold it is when we went to go get gas and stuff. But we're going to do these. I love, I love doing treat bags. I've done them every year. Um, for Ian's class. Oh, there we go. 
out. They're super cute. So we opened up the house. The windows are really cold. Um, thanks, buddy. Logan is asleep. And the neighbor's doggy's outside. And he's a Burmese. His name's Bernie. He's a Burmese mountain dog. Hi. Can I help you? Oh, these are just for Connor and Hunter. What's this? Those are some of the toys, the toys that I got for your class. I want one. You'll get one when you get your Halloween party next week. Yeah. Oh, don't whine. Buddy, Hi. get off. Go pick up some more of your Legos, please. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. I know. Oh, 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 man. Oh, Ask the kid to pick up stuff. But we're gonna put Logan in his one of his Halloween outfits because I don't think it's gonna fit much longer. It might not even fit today, but I wanna get determined to get a picture of him in it. <laughs> right, we have Dad and Seth Grill. Brought some birds. Hey, Kids are having the um, Halloween Tyson nuggets. How cute! Little pumpkins, bats, ghosts, all kinds of treats. Ashley brought. Then we got goods here: the Rice Krispie treats. And the I, I hope you like these. Are you excited? I had one. I had like the smallest one. It's so good. We knew it. Logie, hey, hey, you might be too tired. What are you doing? What are you doing, honey? You gonna roll? It goes, Ashley. Where are you going? You gonna do it? You gonna do it? Oh, which way are you going, Ashley? He's going. No? Where are you going to go? He rolled over at three weeks old. It was a, it was an accidental fluke, but... Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good sleepy bub. He only just took four ounces, but it's okay. We gotta get up here in a few minutes and take Bubba to school. I've been up since quarter till five. And it's seven and twenty. I need caffeine. And I'm hungry. such pretty trees through here we lost two huge trees in july with the bad storm that came through but they are a starting to change slowly very slowly this one here is really really pretty when it's all changed but it looks like we're losing some before it gets a chance to change yeah that street's covered Here's breakfast. Don't mind the animal crackers. Those are I packed those for Ian's snack today. I have a bacon egg burrito. We don't have any cheddar cheese or anything. I have some Swiss and Gruyere mix, but I wasn't feeling it this morning. And then I think I'm gonna make me a little bit of this because I need some caffeine. But I think I might make my pumpkin cold foam chai tea latte to take if me and e uh, Logan leave today. I made some of that up this week, and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, if I make some of that but right now, I'm going to eat this and put some laundry away that I started last night. Hi, 
All right, um, Logan and I are home just before it started storming, like literally. Um, we got really lucky. <laughs> it is starting to rain, it's getting really dark out, that's why the lights are on. But this is everything we got from Walmart. It wasn't much, we didn't need much, but we just needed some of the basics. So I did get some chicken thighs in here. Um, I'm gonna do these in the crock pot with um, some of this. But yeah, I'm gonna do that with some, you know, sauces, seasonings, do some chicken maybe, some rice or something with it. We got some cooked bacon for Ian's lunches. He's requested this. It's just easy. Um, I, I would like to get like raw bacon and just like batch cook it up for the week. That's my plan starting probably next week. We'll see if that happens. 18 pound eggs. Ian requested some treats. I couldn't find any of the like Halloween or fall cakes. I'm thinking that everything might have been on an end cap display and I just didn't see it. But I got him some zebra cakes. Got some sausage for breakfast for dinner. Some tortillas for taco night and quesadillas and things like that. We got some peanut butter. They had no GIF in the store and this was literally $2 compared to the Peter Pan this size that was 6 So I bought that. I saw somebody talking about this on YouTube. They did chicken wings in the crock pot with it. I think it was Jessica O'Don. I don't know I watch her. She's so adorable. But the Japanese barbecue with soy, ginger, and garlic. And that's right up our alley. We do a lot of stir fries and things. So I wanted to try that. We got some bread for the week. Um, and this is one, but we got three gallons of milk. I know it seems obsessive, um, excessive, but my two boys love milk. Ian and Seth Logan obviously is on formula and breast milk. He doesn't drink this yet, but what he does, my gosh. And 24 pack of Dr. Pepper for Seth. I paid a right around $55. Yeah. It was under 60 and over 55 So somewhere in the middle there. I can't find my receipt, but between 55 and 60 for all of these things. So yeah, I'm going to eat lunch now because I'm starving. And I never made that uh, pumpkin chai tea, so I might do that later. This is not what I wanted to deal with today. 
I need to get back there and move those pillows, but, and then that came untouched. We just had a really big, like, wind front come in. I need to shut that window. <sighs> so that's great. That's, that's a thing. Happy Monday. Yay. I just messaged Seth at work. He's not responded, but I'm sure he's going to be so happy. All right, I got to do this real quick because I have to go change Logan's diaper. But we got the crock pot going. I already stuck it on. This is dinner tonight. I put in the chicken thighs. There's about eight of them. It's for me and Seth because Logan or Ian's not going to eat this. Logan's not going to eat it either. I have my sauce I'm about to whisk. It's some soy sauce, some of the new Kinder's barbecue, Japanese barbecue sauce, some honey, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, and some brown sugar back there. We're going to whisk this up, cover these. I might give this a little taste. And then we're going to cook these for about four hours. Alrighty. Everything is in. It is covered and going to start cooking. I am not 100%. Oh, sorry. I got stuff out here. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this. It almost tastes like it has alcohol in it. I can't put my finger on what that taste is I don't know it almost tastes like whiskey or something probably I don't know about adding that well we're just you know playing around but I gotta go take care of this baby now All right, I went ahead and cooked up the rice. I went ahead and made two cups of rice for leftovers. This is how our chicken turns out. It's actually really good. I just tried a, like a small little piece that was definitely, I'm pretty sure it's almost cooked if not cooked, but I'm gonna let this simmer for a while. Seth will be home about an hour and then he's gonna make the pot stickers. It's really good with the sauce. I tried the sauce on my finger earlier. Obviously, it was going to be really strong, but it's really good on the chicken. Right, we got frozen peas and carrots in. We got some sesame oil going on. I am going to add this to a packet. I already opened it. I'll show you. I have fried rice seasoning on a low because e Logan is in and out of sleep and Seth is at Walmart still getting green onions and something for Ian to eat because we don't have really anything for him to eat. I mean, I could make him some pasta or like a quesadilla or something, but he needs, he needs some things to eat. So, but yeah, I just opened the front door to let in some air and I'm going to show you um, what I found. That is what I found. I opened the door, ran in the kitchen real quick to add the rice to the peas and carrots, come out and there's huge footprints. I go into Logan's room, check on him. He's in and out of sleep. Go back into the kitchen and right across my backyard, I see these two huge Great Danes running through my yard. That was a very big surprise. <laughs> um, they have collars on. They ran over to my neighbor who's outside cleaning out his trucks. And I was like, hey, are, do you know who these are? He's like, yes, oh my God, what are they doing out? So that was an experience. <laughs> All right, here is, oh, sorry about the glare. Here is dinner. We have the chicken with some sesame seeds on, the fried rice after I added the egg, and some green onions that Seth just brought home. This stuff is really, really good um, now that it's on it. <laughs> What's wrong? All right, guys, this is good night. Loki's here. We just had a bottle. Ian's getting ready to go to bed. Thank you for joining me the last couple days. I hope it was entertaining. 
at the least. Somebody's getting tired. It has not eaten much today or yesterday. He's been sleeping a lot. I think he's going through a gross spurt. But I'll catch you guys next time.